what's up guys this is Asnan and you're watching training codes so till now we have created all of this stuff and now what we're going to do is we are going to create a reside man okay now um, I was late in doing this videos because I have some problem with my computer and I just fixed that and it took me a lot of days to do that okay and this is going to be the last video for uh, our designing app but uh, i'm going to create one more video which is going to be a touch up for our designing of a news app okay so uh, in this video what we're going to do is we are going to create our side menu as we have uh, designed in our particular uh, sketch okay so uh, we'll just go ahead and start making that okay so first we go first what we're going to do is we are going to change the background color uh, as we done in our sketch okay so we will we'll change the uh, background color of our side menu so uh, i have removed the header from the side menu as well okay so um i'll just go ahead and inspect that um inspecting that i'm going to get a scroll content but i'll just go ahead and target the ion content okay and i'll just make sure uh, that it is going to have a different color uh, so it is going to be have something background uh, background color to um, first we'll keep hash FFF and um, we are going to ch we are going to take a color from the color palette okay so um, I'm going to take it from over here and bit somewhat like this okay so this is going to be our color and uh, this is the same color which we have used in our um, sketch okay so um, first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our um, visual studio code and uh, open up your app.html file because if you want to design your um, side menu you should open the app.html file okay so open up the app.html file first and um, inside the uh, give a class to the ion contain okay so uh, it, it will differ from our uh, other ion contain if we directly give an ion contain it's going to change the background color of all the ion contain present inside our ionic app okay so uh, just go ahead and give the bg color right over here and um, open the app.scss file uh, create a class over here and this class is going to be affect your uh, stuff directly so um, as I have as I have got the class over here which says the dot um, bg color is going to be a something something like this and it's going to be an import and you're going to override okay so uh, that's great uh, let's go ahead and save this and make sure um, uh, one another more important CSS you're going to write is ion list and we have an ion list over here right over here uh, very it is the ion list over here and inside the ion list we are going we are having a buttons right right over here if you open up your um, HTML or you open up your um, uh, app you're going to get something like this okay see um, we are having a buttons right over here and uh, we we need to make them transparent before it was white but i have just redo my css and you're going to get some beautiful buttons now these buttons are going to be a white color but we don't need that color right so we are going to make it transparent but, but just writing um uh ion list and inside that we're having a button so we're going to make the color hash fff so we are going to have a white color and background color is going to be transparent and make sure you're going to override that by using an important okay okay now um we have a nice color we have a buttons but we don't need that lines so to do that what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open your your app.html file and inside your app.html file you're going to use no line attribute inside the uh, ion list okay it's not on it's no line I'm sorry it's going to be a no line okay so um, I'm sorry it's going to be no line okay cool so this will remove the lines from our um, list and um, uh, do you remember what we have exactly uh, what we have exactly uh, designed over um, uh, app in this sketch I just I just I don't know where the file is I'm not getting the file right now but uh, we were having something uh, around 
icon or a round uh, shape of logo for our app and inside uh, beside be, uh, underneath that particular uh, icon we are having an app name and then we are having a list of pages which is going to be there inside of our app okay so um, uh, let's go ahead and check our no line is working or not still the line is there so I guess it's going to be uh, something like no lines um, okay so um, this will remove the lines no lines it is not no line it is no lines okay so um, I guess um, it works now cool it worked so this look beautiful now the missing part is our uh, icons okay you should be having an icons beside the name of our of your home uh, of your pages okay so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, our our uh, app dot uh, file and you guys are going to see an array with the name of pages which is going to be include your title and component okay this is basically uh, the things which is displayed into your menu uh, this dot pages is going to have home category and news details and it is going to have a component of the same uh, regarding your home categories and news details so it is going to when you're going to click on home it's going to redirect that particular uh, on that particular component if you're going to uh, click on categories it is going to uh, redirect you on the uh, categories component okay so um, we need to add icons before that so what we're going to do is we're going to use ion icons okay and uh, what we're going to do is right over here because see this particular thing we cannot write an HTML directly into the HTML file this particular is going to be uh, taken from this particular page array and it is going to be displayed into your HTML file okay so if you take a look on your HTML file the name of the pages are going to be uh, are going to be read from your um, uh, this dot pages array see as you can see let p of pages and the p dot title so they are taking the value from the component dot ts file right from this particular array so what we're going to do is we are going to take the uh, we're going to do the same thing we are going to give the name of our icons and we are going to read the icons from our uh, pages okay array so uh, what I'll do is I'm going to create an icon uh, variable and it is going to be of type string and what I'm going to do over inside the um, pages uh, I'm going to I'm going to say that it is going to be an icon okay and um, the icon is having uh, some values like uh, the first icon is going to be have an md home okay and in the same way uh, we're going to have a different icons as per uh, as per as per our designs so um, first is something like um, first it was I guess filing uh, yes second first was home second is filing so um, filing mm, okay filing and uh, I guess copy okay now uh, we have uh, the icons name stored inside our pages uh, array now what we're going to do is we're going to create one HTML for uh, into your uh, HTML tag of ion icon and we are going to read that particular icons um, before before the buttons uh, or before the titles okay so it is going to be displayed before the titles so ion icon and ion icons is going to have a name from that particular um, particular array right so name equals to uh, p dot icon so first time we are going to get something home and then again we are going to get that filing p dot icon okay and oh I'm sorry p dot icon cool and we are done with our icon part and we're going to get an icons just like that okay so um, we're going to save the both of the files to get affected into our app okay and uh, let's see one okay so um, we got our icons okay and now the missing part is our um, logo icon and underneath that logo icon we are going to have a name of our app okay so um, what we will do is we are going to create an HTML we are going to take uh, one division inside the division we are going to fit that logo and uh, we are going to do that stuff okay so first what we're going to do Okay, so first what we're going to do is um, we are going to create one division and um, the division is going to have a class 
uh, with a name called uh, whatever whatever name you can uh, give it but this particular uh, class is going to have a position of relative because we are going to make our icon to be have uh, to be to be uh, position absolute okay and um, to make it center uh, it's it is beautiful to make a absolute uh, division to make center okay so um, we are going to have a class I need to know the class name from the uh, okay we're going to make the class of uh, called profile okay uh, dot profile right over here profile okay and um, inside the profile we're going to have a profile image so uh, do class equals to profile uh, IMG okay and inside the deep profile IMG we're going to have an IMG and it's going to have um, a source from something internet okay so um, I'll just go ahead and copy and paste the link uh, which is saved in my notes so boom okay we got the link and close the um, image tag and uh, let's take a look on app.scss file mm, okay so we have first division as profile and in case, as you can see on the screen the profile division is having a position of relative okay and the size of the uh, I mean the height of that particular is 250 pixels and we have a profile image uh, so we need to change the class name to IMG to do IMAGE okay and this particular division is going to have an image uh, of and the size not size I guess the position should be um, absolute and top 50 left 50 and transfer and transfer minus 50 minus 50 this will make your image um, uh, position centered okay so this is the best way to center your element vertically and horizontally if your element is um, uh, uh, position absolute okay but you can also do that with flexbox okay it's the, it's totally upon you what it, you can do whatever you like okay and we are going to have that particular image size and height of 90 90 pixels and object fit cover and border radius of 50 percent as you know we can make our image circle by just using border radius of 50 percent okay and inside the profile image we are going to have um, one paragraph tag okay which is going to uh, which is going to uh, hold our hold the name of our particular app okay so if we just go ahead and okay inside the uh, profile image we're going to have a paragraph tag uh, which is going to uh, hold the name as news okay so uh, the news app is going to have a design something like this okay um, text should be centered and position phone size should be 1.5 em and color is going to be this one so um, I guess if we if we'll go ahead and take a uh, take a look on our um, app right now uh, we are going to have maybe we are going to have some error because that's what I am seeing on the screen mm, let's see come on okay cannot read property uh, icon of undefined so uh, this is the problem we have so sometime um, it create a problem before it was working the icon it was working and now it's saying me that uh, it cannot read the property of undefined of icon this is icon 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 string okay so um, if you guys get a problem something like this you, what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and restart your app and it's going to be solved so okay so um, I have restarted my app and you're going to get something like this okay make sure you have the same HTML what I have written over here so uh, the HTML is right over here and um, we have okay now uh, the one more thing which I should uh, I should I should forgot to tell you is uh, using an item start into your ion icon okay uh, either you can use before the button or you, either you can use inside uh, after the button not inside the button I'm sorry after the button okay so uh, you're going to get some gap between the ion icon and uh, the name of the button okay so um, make sure you're going to use item start before um, uh, as an attribute of your ion icon okay so um, I guess um, all the stuff all the things are designed well okay and uh, uh, this is the app which is going to have 
um, which is which we have designed into you into our sketch and now it is also designed inside our app as well okay so um, I guess um, the, the last video which is remaining for this particular series is um, touch, it, touch up of the app so the final touch up will be we are going to uh, if we click on this page the news detail page is going to be open okay and uh, I think that can be done by yourself also because it is just linking a page and uh, passing the data from one page to another I have, I have done that video uh, you can just go ahead and take a look on that particular video how to pass the data from one page to another okay so um, I don't think so I should create one another more video to just uh, linking up the pages and sharing the data between the pages because I have already done that okay so uh, that's it for this video and uh, this series is ending over here I hope you like this series okay uh, I have just shared my knowledge how to design the app how to write the CSS perfectly okay so um, if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and if you're new over here please subscribe to my channel so that we can come up with more beautiful videos and I can share more videos and I can also learn from you people by just if you when you just comment in that comment section by just uh, saying that I got this error uh, that particular error is going to be new for me I just take a look on that error and then I can just figure out how it is, how it can be solved okay so uh, that make me uh, that that what make me uh, gives a benefit to learn new things okay so um, I hope uh, you like whole, all the series and all the videos and um, I'll see you in my next one bye bye take care